research in my fields of theater and performance studies entails both archival research and field work. So when I talk about ar archival research, I'm talking about the, the collection of primary sources. That may mean going to a library, a national archives, an artistic organization, or a community organization, and starting to kind of put together primary sources, playbills, scripts, images, news articles, documents that will help you begin to answer some of those questions that you have. Another important component of research in my fields is fieldwork. This entails everything from going to actual performances, taking notes, staying for the post-performance talks, interviewing the artist, and also participating in the actual rehearsal process. If you're in the humanities in your theater, what does research really look like? And for me, research is a collaborative process. I'm going out and I'm meeting with artists, I'm meeting with the directors, or I'm meeting with producers, or if I'm drawn to a particular phenomenon, for instance, performances that are organized by activists, I will go and I will meet those activists. And I will try to build a relationship so I can observe what they're doing and also participate in the making of various performances. Another thing um, that I said about how research is collective for me, I try to find as many opportunities to share my work in progress and in process. You may decide to test out some of these ideas in a class, in a research paper and then you might have the opportunity to share that research project with your larger class. Another big step is finding the right advisor, somebody to mentor you through the project. The values are you're developing your critical reading, critical writing, and critical listening skills. But one thing I don't think we talk enough about is the development of critical listening skills. And when you're writing about a contemporary performance, a show, and you're going out and you're meeting with the people who are involved in creating the work or you're talking to audience members, you are practicing what it means to critically listen. But it also entails um, listening very carefully, asking the right follow-up questions, and then building a relationship so that later on you can go back and ask more questions. Research is obviously a process, but writing, sometimes people think writing only just comes at the end. But for me, writing is always present during research. So I am constantly um, taking what we call field notes. After I go watch a show, after I talk to somebody, even after, I cl after a class, I'll come back and write up some of my thoughts, observations, questions. And those all kind of become part of this collective process of getting closer to answers for some of the questions that I have. I think some of the, the pitfalls are, are sometimes when you have a question, sometimes you already have a predetermined answer and you are looking for evidence that satisfies that answer that you have in mind. I think one of the most important things to do is to have some questions and some parameters and some working hypotheses, but to be open. That's, I think, the most important thing, both to be open and to be patient. Open to where different discoveries may take you, but also patient because the unfolding of those answers will take time. And so you have to be patient with letting the process play out and also being um, patient with yourself because good ideas, they take time. Um, and you need to let the process happen and to be open. So one of the most important forms of advice that I give is start early and also be open to asking for suggestions and be open to also pursuing different avenues. I mean, the best thing is when you can bring together both your personal convictions and also your intellectual interests. Where usually there's something very personal driving these research ideas and research projects that we have. And I think we don't spend enough time allowing ourselves to talk about those personal things that drive our intellectual interest. And this is why I always emphasize writing, like keeping a blog or keeping a journal because you constantly want to be kind of reflecting on the process and thinking, why am I devoting so much time to this and why does this matter? Mm -hmm.